So that's where you have to go for Hadoop. Okay. So uh, some of the questions you might come across: Why Hadoop for big data? Okay. So as I was explaining, so Hadoop provides you unlimited horizontal or scale out aspects, and it gives you flexibility in accepting all the data formats, not just restricting it, okay, I need this data in SQL, in this structured format kind of restriction. So Hadoop can accept a raw data in most of the formats which is available or which is known uh, in today's digitization world. And also it is a very efficient and simple technique which allows you to store the data in a fault tolerant mechanism where it allows data to be redundant in the HDFS and also it can handle fault tolerance in your distributed processing as well. More, more, more or less, it is most the simplest approach comparatively uh, when you correlate with the RDBMS based data warehousing platforms. Not the last but the most important thing, it can be built on a commodity hardware which is not the case with your traditional RDBMSs. Okay, so some of the real world examples, uh, the Sears Holdings Corporation, the success story of Sears Holding uh, was all going on Hadoop. So at Sears, the scale that required big, day, big data analytics and capability. So initially they were on the conventional data warehousing platform where they were using all the commercial uh, conventional style and CS was not able to handle the customer demand and real-time needs of running business reports and running any business promotions or a business uh, uptick kind of a situation. So due to this, CS was seeing a huge revenue loss with the competitors and their business was going down. So CS wanted to consolidate their traditional enterprise data warehousing platforms from uh, Teradata or uh, Oracle or SaaS kind of solutions to Hadoop. So they successfully migrated all their conventional data warehousing platforms to Hadoop and they could see in immediate revenue savings and business growth which can do wonders in their corporation by leveraging uh, the Hadoop platform. So this is one of the success uh, real world stories which you, can, you guys can dig into further. Okay, so <clears throat> some of the things what you might also see challenge when you do a traditional or a conventional data warehousing platform is, so the first thing is you will be only storing the raw information in limited way. What I meant is when you extract or instrument lot of data from different store sources, you don't store the raw data as is in conventional data warehousing platforms or solutions. We strip out a lot of data and store only what is exactly important for me to store to run those ad hoc queries. That potentially could be a problem when you have a very high fidelity raw data which is getting stripped out into low fidelity and very limited data sets. Maybe there could be a potential option to leverage cross-functional low fidelity attributes versus high fidelity attributes. Possibly we are losing all that opportunity. And the second thing is moving the data from computing storage, say for example from aggregating directly the raw data to the computing storage doesn't offer you the scale because your RDBMS underlying storage platform which is RDBMS cannot store massive scale of data. For that reason, we cannot move the direct data, the raw data into the uh, end storage. So for that, we have to strip the data and that storage platform also does not offer us the scalability. And the last one, the historical data, which again we keep storing it in our master uh, storage or the data warehousing platform has to be archived periodically. And it cannot keep on storing all the historical window of the data, so it has to be archived periodically and it goes into a premature death. So there is a lot of business value and a lot of business data which we are losing it over the period of time. So Hadoop solve all these three functional problems 
by storing the entire raw data as is into the Hadoop storage and it can store unlimited data and it can store all the historical data so that you don't need to directly archive the data and constraint yourself from storing say only I, my database can store only say 10 terabytes of information at any given point of time if it crosses 10 terabytes either I need to purge the old data to accommodate new data all that scenario is, is taken care by Hadoop by providing unlimited scale and unlimited storage where you can keep on storing all the data even the oldest data for say say five years old data can also be stored directly which can be available for processing at any given point of time. Okay, 